Switzerland. From this uh, what? From Switzerland. Yes. Yes. Okay. She's cycling on her own. Yes. Yeah. Can you see her bike as well? Yeah. Nice bike. <laughs> <laughs> and this is she's bike. And this is that one. Yes. Now this is our friend Emmanuel from Spain. He's rode all the way from Spain to here. Now he's gone to Mongolia. Okay, bye bye. Nice cool enduro bike he's got there. Not too much gear, he's travelling light. No camping, only hotels. Hello, today is Tuesday the 17th of July. And now we are going out in the city of Bukhara. An expo. Yes. The mosque and all the things. Yeah. First we have to change some money, then we have to buy a new SIM card and then we'll have a look around. But uh, we just spent two hours having uh, breakfast with a, a lady actually called Esther from Switzerland. She's uh, cycled here on her own. She's uh, retired now so uh, sold her apartment in Zurich. Now she's traveling around the world by herself. It's uh, amazing really. So we had a nice breakfast with her. It was two hours we spent talking to her this morning. So uh, yeah. that was great. So uh, she's here as well the next three days. So, uh, and also we have just learned that we have to register in a hotel every three days hmm. yeah. here in Uzbekistan. Yeah. Something new. Yes. Not easy all these countries. There's different rules for every country. So that's something new to know that we have to register. So I'm not sure how that works. How does that work? Yeah, we get a registration slip in a hotel. And then uh, we might be asked to show them at the border when we leave the country. Okay. So now we know that. <laughs> okay. Let's go and have a look around here in Bukhara. We've heard that when you're into Uzbekistan, it's best to bring dollars and then you change dollars into the local currency here. So that's what we just did. So that went pretty easy. Quite fast, took five minutes and there. Uh, now we have Uzbekistan Sol. But uh, again, like in Iran, you get one note, you end up with a big wad of money. But now we've got that. Okay, let's go. Before we came here, we heard that we couldn't get money out of the cash points here, but the man in the hotel here in Bukhara said that we can actually use our visa card in cash points here. And now we're just starting to have a wander around. Let's see what's here. That's a quite a real place for adventurers. There's lots of adventure motorbikes. You see parked outside the various hotels. There's one there, two more down there. Okay, this is the main mosque here. In Bushkara. Looks like we just turned up when they're filming a music video. So this is the Poi Kalon complex and mosque. Also includes a very large minaret there. It used to be called the Terror of Death because they used to throw criminals off the top there. But, uh, since Islamic times it's been used to call people to prayer. It's actually quite an impressive complex. There must have been mosques here and before the year 700 and they've been uh, Consequently, burnt down and rebuilt. Even Genghis Khan attacked this uh, complex. And the only thing that remained was the tower there. So, the Arabic word for minaret is actually manara, it means a lighthouse or a place where something was burnt. They actually use these as uh, fire towers, which uh, of course refers back to the religion before Islam, which was uh, Zoroastrianism.
Yes, and that I want to have on my bike. The other thing is here, it looks like this is a never ending tumble. building here this is the Kalon Mosque built in 1514 The city of Bukhara here yeah, is just uh, filled with many mosques and uh, madrasas, all the schools of religion of Islam, and uh, also caravanserai where people used to stay on the, on the ancient Silk Road here and they would trade their goods with other people as they moved from east to west and vice versa. It's, uh, today it's a wonderful tourist town. Even though it's a very Islamic city, it doesn't feel very Islamic when you're here. A lot of tourists walking around in whatever clothes they feel like by the looks of it. Shorts are even allowed here, which is quite nice when it's a very hot town, only 42 degrees or so. It's a bit difficult to find any cool places. Just like we saw in Yats, the colours are just amazing, especially in the evening sun here. We've heard that the kids come out and play football in the evening, so that's what we just found here. And James has gone over, see if he can be allowed to play. Pakistan Denmark football game is well underway. That is uh, keeping busy over there with the young girls practicing their English, talking to her. Something you don't see in Europe is people playing, or in Denmark and England anyway, just 10 o'clock in the evening, just the locals out playing chess in the middle of the town. All kids play football. It's about now the temperature's right to play without sweating to death. So this is the Kalium Minaret, the one we saw earlier this afternoon. Actually built in 1127 this town. It was so beautiful that when Genghis Khan attacked the city here, he actually spared this town. So, uh, quite an amazing sight also to see it in the evening here. The stars up above in the warm summer evening. It's uh, also called Tower of Death, as I mentioned earlier. I see only 100 years ago the last person was thrown to his death from this town. Unbelievable. I've already said it a few times, but uh, it's amazing the family atmosphere you get in these uh, towns. The last few towns we've been in, uh, as soon as it goes dark and the temperature starts to, starts to fall, it's uh, 
It's amazing, all the families come out, children playing now. Just talking, sitting there with their children. Well, it looks like there's a half time in the football match. Let's go and see how he's getting on. Two nice BMW motorbikes here. Look like they're ready for the Pami Highway. By the looks of it. There's the square right outside our hotel and yet again just families just taking it easy, enjoying the nice summer evening here. I play music there. Just a really nice atmosphere. No bars with people drinking and, and uh, what you would see in Europe. It's just a nice family relaxed place. So that was the end of today. A very nice day here in Bukhara. Oh, it's actually wind in my face. Um, nice temperature here late in the evening. Um, we enjoyed the day today, just having a long breakfast, uh, a bit of sightseeing, and then uh, hammam, a nice dinner by a little lake here in the city, um, and then having a walk around in the late evening here. Really a nice atmosphere here in the town, and very, very. Yeah, just nice atmosphere and laid back and people just going around enjoying themselves and Jim was playing football with some other boys and little children going around on their little bicycles and yeah, just nice. And now it's uh, bedtime for us. Good night.